Hey everyone, how are you going? Super exciting day on this build today. Um, I think that when you decide to start building the Fokker D7, there are certain elements that you get really excited about. Um, for me, the louvers was one of them. Uh, the other one is probably all the brass gauges and things like that that you've already seen. But this is really, to me, one of the super, super exciting things. So this is actually the lozenge fabric, the famous lozenge fabric. Um, that, that uh, the Germans made famous um, in, in the First World War. So it actually brings in some questions around how we want to cover the entire project um, going forward. So we've actually got three options here. Firstly is the lozenge fabric, and it takes a lot of work, and there's a lot of applying of dope and things like that. This is the Aileen's tacky glue that all of the wise men online recommend using just to stick the fabric down initially. The second option, which is probably the easiest and, and, and one of the most popular is, this is called Oratex. It's kind of an iron-on iron fabric, but it's actually got like a fabric, you can't really tell on the video, but rather than being smooth like solar film, this has actually got a nice fabric texture to it. So that's really exciting. And it's super easy to apply, but obviously we won't get the sort of um, lozenge um, you know, final feel. Last one, which is if you go to the sort of full-size guys, the guys that make full-size aircraft, they actually use this, which is, um, which is linen. It's actually a natural linen. And then Stuart Systems is a very, very popular system that a lot of the full-size guys use. So I actually bought this for another project. I thought I'm actually still thinking about building a full-size tailplane for the D7 and hanging it on my wall as a bit of wall art. So anyway, so it's going to be a really interesting process and we'll, and we'll take you along with us as we, as, we, as we test each one of the different systems and work out what's going to be the best one for this project. Alright, so what I want to do, just to try this um, covering for the first time, because I've never used it, is build a little test frame. So here's the leading edge, probably make a little rectangle like that. And then what I'll do is I'll make some, some little quick fire ribs which we'll use here, because then it'll give it a nice kind of curve, much like this over here, so much like the full size wing. From the weed, high from my presence Couldn't wait to finish work at 10 to 11 Walk past the lake, another night of summer On my way to a apartment full of colour It don't matter what's outside these walls Feels like heaven is a place so small Smoke on the terrace and into the kitchen I don't want no other way of living Smile so big, I wanna take a picture Nothing can replace the feeling when I'm with ya It don't matter what's outside these walls Feels like heaven is a place so small It's just me and you In this tiny room I don't wanna move Till the afternoon It's just me and you in this tiny room I don't wanna go Cause it feels like home All good things must come to an end I show when I see you Okay, so here you go. I'm um, a little bit of a rib shot. Not perfect, but at the end of the day, this is not gonna fly or anything. It's just gonna look good. So now what we do is we trace out some plywood. Hang on, I'm gonna grab some, here's some nice building ply. First, I'll start by tracing that out. Pencil. This. this is actually the way you scratch build aeroplanes. I've actually never done it this way before, so it'll be interesting to see whether I can do it very well. So there we go. So we've got the rib shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out two of the balsa, which will be the in-between ribs. There was a way for time to move slow It don't matter what's outside these walls. Feels like heaven is a place so small It's just me and you in this tiny room Alright, so here we go. That's actually made out of beautiful plywood. As you can see, I've got like a little bit back here for the trailing piece. So I just can't find it. Hang on, here it is. So the trailing piece like this, so it sits like that. And what I'm going to do so I'm going to use a piece of round dowel like that to do the, the leading edge, which is that's the sort of thing they do on bigger planes. So that's a great start. So then what I did just off camera is I got 
some balsa wood and I traced around each one of these quickly with a knife just to make a soft balsa rib like that and then what I did is once I got four of those I sandwiched them together like this as you can see with the other plywood end and what I did is I cut them all out at the same time on the bandsaw it made it so much easier because you're basically making six at the one time have a look at that they're all exactly the same and then I put it on the sanding and look at that just absolutely the same ribs and I reckon that took me all about 20 minutes All right, you can see what we're trying to do. We're trying to actually get to the point where we hollow out as much of that, that circle as possible because that dowel goes in there like that and it forms the leading edge. So because we went a slight bit off center, because it's a bit hard holding all this sandwich still because it's not, it's not glued or anything. So I was trying to use alignment aids and sticking thing, and like bits of wood in here like this just to sort of get it to do it. But it moved just fractionally. Anyway, that's all right. We did most of it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this off with the, with the um, bandsaw and then we'll hollow the rest out to get that shape using the Dremel and then hopefully that'll just sit in beautifully and make a nice leading edge as you can see like that. Beautiful little simple lead, leading edge. Half on the weed, half on my presence Couldn't wait to finish work at 10 to 11 Walk past the lake, another night of summer On my way to a Palma full of colour It don't matter what's outside these walls Feels like heaven is a place so small Smoke on the terrace and into the kitchen I don't want no other way of living Smile so big, I wanna take a picture Nothing can replace the feeling Back a bit all right, I'll see if this fits. Oh, it's getting close, isn't it? Look at that. I think what we'll do is we'll slice that off and then we'll make it sort of like an open jaw that we can set it in. It don't matter what's outside these walls. Feels like heaven is a place so small. It's just me and you in this tiny room. I don't want to move till the afternoon. All right, moment of truth time. A little bit of Dremel work. Let's see how it goes. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful leading edge. Look at that. Just curves down from the top and around there like that. I think we can call that done. All right, and here we go. So we've got all the bits that we've cut out back on the building board. This feels like a bit like going back in time. I haven't actually been over the building board in... Um, in a while, not since we were building all of those wings. Um, so what I'm doing here is basically just trying to get a nice square shape. That's why we use our little squares. And then what we'll do is we'll start putting the end rims on. First, like that. And then look how beautiful this little fish mouth is on the front. Being able to sit that piece of dowel in there like that, I mean, could not be any better. So I'm just gonna square off these ends quickly and then let's start gluing. Things must come to an end Not sure when I'll see you again Days getting shorter, nights getting colder Wish there was a way for time to move slower It don't matter what's outside these walls Feels like heaven is a place so small It's just me and you In this tiny room I don't wanna move Till the afternoon It's just me and you in this tiny room, I 
don't wanna go Cause it feels like home fantastic little wing section here. I tried a couple of new construction techniques that I've never used before. Firstly we used hardwood spars and we also used a piece of dowel here for the leading edge. So see how we cut those little pockets in there which I was talking about before. Um, but it's a beautiful little section, strong as anything. So um, next time we see you we're going to actually start applying the fabric and doing a bit of testing on the glues and, and um, also how we shrink the fabric just to sort of see what works best. So see you then.